Alright then. What we have here is a Mardave Street Stocks Mini, which is the standard mini with no suspension on it. Now, I'm going to try and build this thing without looking at the instructions. Mm. I have a cup of tea. Terrible toolbox. Let's do it. Okay, what have we got here? Instruction manual. Okay, that might be useful. A servo. Let's pop that there. Front bumpers, a battery tray, which didn't come in the kit because this kit has currently has no battery trays or speed controllers. They will be arriving soon. Uh, a rear bumper, axle, gears, pinion, ball racing, washers, okay, stickers, excellent. Front wishbones, stub axles, screws, and servo holder. And there. Here is the rear solid pod, non suspension version. Some wheels, a V3 Wolf Racing wheels. And as this is a standard mini, no ball races. R and F, so I'm presuming that they're rear and front, so I guess they're pinks and or grips and 46s. Rear body set. And I have a body shell here, which is your good old classic standard mini maniac, that's what it says on the wheel arch there. Right. Let's get some basic stuff together. Here is the teeny tiny itsy bitsy thin chassis. These used to be made out of aluminium. They were a lot sturdier, a lot more like, hardcore. So these minis will be flying. All right, let's start with. Let's have a quick look at this. Here yeah, you need these. Instructions, V12 standard mini range of kits, VRX, VRX circuit edition, we're looking at the V12 there. Uh, VRX, see there's the suspension, which we don't have. So we don't need any of that. There's the VRX V12. I, I can bodge this together, we don't need any instructions, do we? Server saver, G2 motor. That's the rear part. That finds those front wishbones. Get rid of the tyres for the moment. Get rid of the wheels. Wishbones. Da -da 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 right. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, we got some. The steering pods. That thing goes there. Put that there. Put that there. Steering. Steering. Two, three, four. Sir clips and washers. Hardened kingpins. Right. This has got to go. There. On the very, 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 very front. Not there. Not there. And not there. There. And these are all classic little self tappers. And the Phillips, which is horrific because I hate Phillips. Screws. Here's the Phillips screwdriver I've been using. I'm pretty sure this screwdriver is as old as me. But it's going to do the job. So let's get this baby in. Incidentally, I have to make this very, very quickly for the meeting at Ermston Club. Ermston Radio Control Car Club starts 
in a few hours and the doors open in 40 minutes. But I'm such a build expert genius. I reckon I can get this done. Uh, hopefully I won't strip any screw heads. Now you could replace these with your standard threaded one and put a bolt on the top. I actually did that with my abandoned F2 build. It took forever to get them through and it was quite painful to be honest. But we're going to smash this together with the parts from the kit. This is going to be absolutely standard. There's going to be no messing around with this. That's the beauty of the standard mini kit. There's nothing to really mess around with on it. Stick it together and let it rip. As I mentioned before, these do come with an electronic speed controller. But Mardave are currently out of stock and we'll be sending them separately. Uh, don't strip the heads. Poor cheap screwdriver. Never do. I can always bodge something together. I've got loads of these self tapping screws because nobody uses them. Da -da -da. First bit done. Now, these should be. Now, I'm slightly confused because they're quite long. And they're too long for these because that would denote suspension. So we may have a problem already. No, 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 no. It's bang on. It's fine. It was just me thinking out loud. Circle on there. I hate circlips, they're so flimsy. They go in my eye. Oh, click, nice. That's on. Top sir clip. I'm sure there's a a trick to doing sir clips with a special tool. I use flesh. There we go. That's nice and secure. No play at all, no up and down whatsoever. Okay. Let's get that on there. Click. Those little bolt no it doesn't matter so I could have put the ball joints on the steering arms first I mean, uh, doesn't really matter does it at the end of the day click brilliant well, maybe it does matter because they're attached to it well they just oh, it doesn't matter you can just push them through and then you can tighten it up with a bolt on the end. Uh, now, what we've got here, we have nylon lock nuts and standard little nuts. But we can see, oh, come here. We only have two lock nuts, so I'm going to guess they're to be used for the steering arm. Hmm, let's see, maybe not. They seem too big. So maybe they're for something else. No, but that doesn't no, I've got three standard ones. Two of them. Did anything go under here? Aha! That's four of them. So yeah, they must be for the steering. Two on the steering arms, two on the servo. That's just a guess. Hmm, maybe we could put a bit more light on this. Possibly. That may have made a small difference. Okay. Fairly little things, these, especially if you've got big. Oh, -hoo. no swearing. Especially if you get this through here. Yes, 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 yes. 
So I'm going to use a double tool session here. I'm going to need one of these, I think. And I'm going to need this little fella, which I found somewhere in a toolkit buried somewhere. Nice, excellent, that's just what we wanted to happen. We need to hold that screw there as we get this little bad boy on. As that's only got one little standard nut on there, I would suggest putting some thread lock, thread lock on there to stop that shaking itself off because I'm pretty sure it probably would. Alright, next one. Okay. I'm sure my stubby fingers are in the way. No idea, but I have thriller in my head. Come on, come on, get on there. Yes, you love it. See, it spins around there. Oops. That's what this bit is for. I'm still spinning, maybe I should be using the other slot. Ah, I'm going to break this before I even manage to get it going. Oh, maybe you're a, bit, you're a bit too small and you're a bit too big. Cheap rubbish long nose pliers. Let's try and hold that steady. Yes. Yes, that's a good type. That might not even work itself loose, but that's the beginnings. Now, this little fella here, hopefully will screw nice and easy, which it does. Ooh, is one end longer than the other? Yes. Can't see that being a major difference. So, let's just leave the long end going in there. Just get it in roughly here. And the other, let's put the long end there. Like so. Just to give it a basic thing going on there. And now, let's get our servo posts in. That's going to be these two, I would suggest. Self tap me, self tap me. In you go and screw it nice and round. I'm screwing, I'm screwing, I'm screwing it in. Not too tight or you will strip its head in. Another one. Yeeks. Incidentally, I think you can pay a bit of an extra premium when you order a My Dave Mini, and you can get some kind of. Oh, you can get the uh, a, a pay an extra twenty quid and a champion builds it. Yes, he will build your mini for free. Not for free. Come on. Right, that's not really important right now. 
let's have a look for, well here's our little servo fella, it's a Core RC 4012. Okay, inside is the usual thingamabobs that you get with servos. And here it is itself, the Core RC 4012. Well, because that comes in the kit, that's what we're going to use. Ooh, or you can spend a huge amount of cash and get some kind of digital servo. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, all right. Just trust this. Let's be nice and central. And then we can sort out. We don't want you. You're a big pile of poo apart from the little screws that you get. <laughs> In this area here, we have a servo saver, the standard V16 servo saver. Bag goes there, paper goes down on the floor. Ooh, what do we have here? We have a ginormous, huge one. Uh, I'm presuming this is what we're going to need. Let's go through Tarpa. That's for uh, Sanwa Acoms. These fellas are probably for something else. Never mind. We don't need to hear it at the moment. It'll come off quite well. And does that go straight on? Or am I looking at the wrong thing here? Let's check out these bad boys. Are you a Futaba version? Excess plastic sticking off the side there. Eek. Not in the conservatory tonight. Uh, in my little study room. Where I don't do any studying. I'm looking for... More little knife here which I've got nice and cheap from the shops but cut away from yourself or I could use the chassis but now let's do this living on the edge there we are now you probably maybe go in there no, let's not delete. Point you out. I'm clearly missing something simple here. Like this. That's not intended for that. Well, this has uh, come to a grinding halt. Futab. Yes. Do you fit there? That doesn't look nice. Doesn't seem right at all. There. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That's just smooth. So that clearly can't. That needs something. I would have thought. Go through like that. Just out of interest, let's look at the instructions. I'm clearly missing a trick here. Clearly missing a trick. Here it just says bang it up, the servo's already done for you. Right, it's clearly something behind it. Server is shown as a guide to fitment. The server saver has a choice of two sets of holes for placement of the ball stud. This is for choice of steering block. It's advisable to drill out the desired holes for two mils. Yes, yes, yes. I 
just length of a simple trap box. So the car will travel in a straight line. Oh, why don't go in a straight line? Correct. Hmm. I've hit a stumbling block, which is confusing and flummoxing my mind. Maybe I'll just get back to it later. Yes, I think I will. Let's ignore you for the moment. Let's get on to uh, our front bumper. Why not? Standard Mini has a really meaty, quite impressive looking front bumper. Not quite good looking. <laughs> Who cares if things get mixed up? That's going to be the bottom deck, like so. That's going to be the top deck, and then you're joined by these little fellas. One, two, three, four, five. And then we've got five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Zoop. Zip. Take any mess in this thing, is it? Bang these on. Bosh. 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 <laughs> Where is it? There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was quite satisfying. in getting these kits in was because he didn't have any bumpers. So this should hopefully stop everyone having broken body shells. Or will it cause more problems? Who knows? Certain, certain people would be doing this with their power tools and whatnot. But I believe power tools are a bit of an overkill for something like this. Although I do get a lot of wrist cramp doing it this way, as of right now. Oh, that just pushed through, that was nice of you. Oh, so did you. Maybe I didn't need to do that in the first place. Still, as I'm doing this, thinking about that servo safe. Ooh! Luckily, there's no dog in here to actually eat any bits which fall on the floor. Floor. I can't work out that servo. I'll just, I'll just get a Kimber or one, or whatever they're called. 
And uh, the good thing about this bumper is, is that you can install it so the lock nuts are on the top and on the bottom. I've currently got mine on the top, as you can see. I might change this because it looks a little bit weird. But it also looks a bit more intimidating. Very Mad Max like. to you fellas. Oh, we're finally using a different fitment. One of these hex ones. through the other side. Only just. I would have thought they would have been a tad longer. Again, you can change them. That is a modification you can make. Oh, I went straight through. Alright, uh, I'm going to guess these are lock nuts again. Yeah. And you can store these upside down if you wanted. And I find that actually creates a far better grip if you've not got a lot of room in the first place. fine so far. The wobbly bits and the servo bit. Have I missed anything there? No, it's looking alright. Now what have we got these for? What are they for? Body posts I would suggest. Do I have any body posts? Rear body posts and front body posts. Okay, let's get this. Must be the front, so that wouldn't, it? That wouldn't make sense for them to go there because then they'd be weighing the steering, so they've got to be there. Okay, and there's two longer screws and three short screws, and they're still Phillips. What a horrible choice! But there we go. There is something about mounting the, like a plate or something to mount the speed controller. Is that really going to go there? I can't see it going there. It could go there, couldn't it? I'm going to put it there and remove it. The beauty. See, that's what I don't like about Phillips. They strip so easily. It's probably my screwdriver as well. We are back. Due to power safety issues. Right. So our pot. We have wash in there for some reason. Not too sure what the washes are for. Maybe I should read that bit. I'm used to the pot you see. Right. Pot is on, pot is on, pot is on, get the pot. That's your pot. It gives you instructions for the suspension. Rear pod assembly bolt at the top there. That's if you put it on the plate. We don't have a plate with this one, it goes straight on there. I 
see, so that must fly right through the middle and go through into there. Uh, that one. I would hope it's not a Phillips, surely. That can't be a Phillips. Ugh. The instruction says it's a flathead. Let's throw this through anyway. We'll see what happens. And you come out the other side. I don't think you will. No. No. Hmm. see it there. Maybe that's the way. Any bite? Anything? I don't think that's quite right or long enough. Maybe I have to use a Phillips. Oh no, I hate that. Yes, it's going to be a Phillips in it. Slightly longer one. That must be the one. It's the odd one out. Okay. Okay. these ones here because that's going to be the oops that's the rear body mount and that's the rear bumpers. I still don't know what these washers are for. Why are all these washers there? Is that to make it upper and lower or something? The instructions they tell me nothing about the washers. I think the washers have been included for um, suspension upgrades possibly if you put this on a base plate. You can see they go in these little black blades, base plates here. And the mini doesn't have that. That makes it easier there. There's still no washers in there, just for the suspension. So I think it's just the bits you need if you have the base plate and decide to turn this into a floaty pod. But we're not. We're going right in there, raw. We're taking it straight. Get in. There. Can't go wrong. Apart from the servo saver, where you can get very confused. Okay, look at that. Sweet. is on. Right. So this little gooseberry. Ooh. Two pods, screw it in, goes onto the bottom, that goes through the top. level that off so it's smooth. Say so smooth. <laughs> yes, cut away from yourself kids. Not towards you. Causes bleedage. But it's 
is so much more thrilling when you start bleeding all over your car. Yes. Yeah, that's going to be not backwards, is it? Because then it's going to touch that pod. I don't want that. That's going to be a bit daft. So it's forwards. I presume you can make it higher and lower. Let's keep it as low as possible. Let's do it through the front. The rear body mount on the old old minis used to be actually integrated into the rear bumper which was on a bent piece of metal so you didn't have to worry about this Self-tapping, how about that? Just remember to hold this a bit further that way. Mm, that's got great potential for breaking that. Maybe when you've got it on, depending on how it looks, you can chop it a bit shorter. I don't really know right now for that. I'm sure this is a very exciting video. Professional circumstances and time pressure to get it done. The doors open in eight minutes. That's all right for the moment. Right, uh, rear bumper. I've got all these bits and pieces everywhere. What a surprise, two little cell tappers. Look at that. Oh, it's got a little hole on. Oh, what are they for? Like a rear bumper thing up there, maybe. When you say just do that, what do you mean just do that? That, that, that rise, that, that one. Explain to me what you're saying. Do you want me to photocopy it? Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, right. Because he threw it on the floor. Oh, he's a little bugger, isn't he? Yeah. I said, well, I'm not taking, I'm not taking, you must not do that, Carrie, you must not no. do that. I said, all I want is the, that recipe. I said, I'm not taking your book, I'll we'll give you your book back later. What's that up there? Camera. This chassis is not drilled for the battery holder. Now, fortunately, the instructions don't have it set up for the standard mini. It just says, see, see how different it is, front body posts go on the very front on this different car and it says here the battery pack will have a hole there there and there for this to screw it on but it doesn't it's got two holes there I don't know what they're for and this is the speed controller posts so maybe oh, they are supposed to be no, there's only two. Mm. Gonna need to do some drilling. Gonna need to drill it in. Gonna need to do some drilling. It's gonna get drilled in there. Well, that's a bit of a oversight. That post hole there wouldn't even go in there. So there's a bit of a boo-boo there in the chassis. That does not seem correct to me at all. You can see in all the chassis there's three holes behind this motor. Even if that road well, wouldn't reach anyway, there's one, two, threes. So, so just so you know, it looks like the standard mini stock chassis has has a error in the cutting out because you shouldn't have to cut anything out at all to get that in but that's where it's going to go hmm silly ma Dave or silly me no. the motor doesn't actually come is this double back or something? the motor doesn't come with motor mounting screws I used to have a racing like that but I think they're supposed to go that way now, because it's a mini, it's going to go around to the right. It's, it's a, you know, some people say you should have it on the that side there because it's going to go around that way. Doesn't really make much difference at the end of the day. What you do with it, but let's put it in there anyway. Let's just use these for the moment. Will they work? Yeah. Will they go right through? Mm, not look, I don't like that, that's not long. Doesn't come over too much, that's too small. So we're not using that. Let's see if I've got any in my box of stuff I found on the floor. <sighs> I think this is one thing I don't actually have. Take out my other cars. I can't be bothered doing that right now. I think I see one in there. I thought I saw one. No, that's not long enough. Look at these bad boys. How are they? <laughs> it's not too shabby. We'll fill it. 
cutter, just to hold it all together. Let's use these washers, why not? I'm pretty sure these washers you can add to the front and do all this camber business and all that. If you're into that kind of thing. Some pieces I've got lying around here. So uh, clips, washers. I've got to screw this servo in, which means taking this out again. Uh, if we return to the mysterious, how the heck does this servo saver work? This is completely smooth on the inside, so that needs something to go through it. To click onto there. Now the Futaba one does fit. There, and it needs to go in between. Like that, maybe. Does that go onto that? No. Does that go upside down? Okay. Does that, and does the Futaba bit go on there? Upside down. Fitting through that. Is this it? Have I done it? Have I done it? Very, it's a bit of a rubbish, rubbish, bit of a rubbish one, to be honest. There's no, I don't think any given that. I would recommend probably not using this servo saver. Seems a bit, a bit naff, but we're using it for the moment. And the screws are down here somewhere. Guess what? It's a teeny tiny Phillips. You will work, won't you? My sweet. Continue. Trouble with magnets, it does stuff like that. No, do you want to go through? Check. Pull that bit. Pull that rubbish out. <sighs> no. Wibbly wobbly. Those silver things, those bronze things for anything. Somewhere like down here or something. Mm -hmm. a new one on me. Now, these all seem exactly the same. Ah, there's your chunky monkey. I'm just throwing it across there. I think this is your fella. I'm leaving that little bronze thing there just to see if it does anything. I think it's a waste of time, that bronze thing. 
There we go. Stop to the engine, or rotor engine. server server it is pretty nasty if I'm being brutally honest it feels like it's just gonna separate itself at any moment but it does the job it does the job Excellent. Okay. Let's just take you out. by putting that front bumper on but I believe I can cope let's use these little washers here I hope I can cope Close, hold this close. I don't want to take it. Oh. Let's just make life easy for myself, eh? Let's just remove that front bumper. Learn from my mistakes and a rush of blood. To oh, God, I forgot that I used these ones. thinking of doing this build while blind drunk but I didn't think that'd be a good idea at the end of the day. <laughs> right. These little fellas need to go on. So let's just give them a bit more purchase. It'd be nice if they weren't just automatically hit. Yes. I think I need to drill them out though. Yes. They do need a screw going through them, or a little drill to make them fatter. Oh, why can't they just be the right size in the first place? Sometimes I just get a self tapper and just go through it like that. Or I just force it in with my manly strength. That's now on. I need to get these feathers on, but I can't easily come off. Let's put this bad boy back on. Oh, 
not sure what I can do now, considering it does need holes drilled in it for the battery tray. As far as I can tell, it does anyway. I did actually notice initially when I opened this up, the battery tray didn't seem to fit. I was just hoping it would somehow would fit once I started doing this bit. I don't know why I thought of that. Poor decisions though. Once your uh, wrist clicks, that probably means it's tight enough. So I'm going to gather all these bits and pieces together, take them down to the club. See if I can just finish it off. See, I don't like that. I think they should be different screws, longer or thread locked or something. This is basically a Mar Dave Mini. Basically, minus the steering arms and the battery tray, which is going to go. some holes though, which is hmm, not not the greatest that idea. That is clearly supposed to be from that. I have to let Mar Dave know that that appears to be a bit of an error there on their part. And I think it's supposed to have come with something here, uh, like a speed controller holder, so a little, little plastic to go on the top, like that. But that's not there in the kit. I think they're still waiting for them to come into stock. But no, no, not a major problem. That's not a major problem. Here's our axle. And it actually comes with you know, two different axles. A pinion. And a good screw, I would hope is in there. And another mini problem with the Mar Day is, is that these often snap because they don't have the reinforcements for the Camtech one so you can actually buy a slip on from Camtech to reinforce that bit. Let's not worry about that. That's a 46 and that's a 46. I guess, uh, I guess it's a 46 we're using this one. So it looks like the drive spacer is missing from the kit as well. Unless you do it this way. I see. It's not missing. You just use that. Tires, sort of later. Let's just put some lock nuts on the end there, get the pinion on, and then get everything packed together. 